What's good y'all, and welcome to my first ever review for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders! As I said in my DBZ Kai, after I, as I said before, after I was done with DBZ Kai the Final Chapters, I would start reviewing JoJo. So yeah, here we are, final reviewing Stardust Crusaders, and I say, oof, this episode was phenomenal, like, oh my god, I love JoJo to death, guys, like, oh my god, I love JoJo, I can never get enough of JoJo, I'm looking forward to reviewing the rest of this, I will also be doing, uh, Domino is Unbreakable dubbed, hopefully right at, hopefully right after, uh, uh, season 2 is done, I hope that we get that, as far as part 5 goes, I haven't seen, uh, part, uh, Diamond Super so I won't be watching that sub, I will be watching that done when it airs on Toonami. So yeah, all that out of the way, let's begin. So start starts off, we got my man, Jotaro. And oh my god, do I love Jotaro. He is best Jojo, in my opinion. I know, no, 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 it's just, no, 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 it is Jotaro. And he, because he, this man, is the ultimate bad ass. Like, ooh, man, I can never get enough of Jojo. Oh my god, I can never get enough of Jotaro. The man is, the man's savagery and just badassery. Ugh. He's, he is the ultimate badass. He's like my third favorite anime character of all time because, god damn, is this man just awesome. That Jotaro, mm, I love him. So, as we saw in last week's episode, we know that he is going against Darby, his brother, and so now we have where he tells, like, we know that in the last episode where he said that he's going to start off, he's going to tell him his pitch, which is a high outside fastball. I know fuck about baseball, so if I end up messing up terms, um, that's why, because I know fuck about baseball. Uh, so, then, you know, uh, then Darby uses a stand, which found his stand could actually read your soul, and pretty much if he ends it's pretty much like, his, his, soul is, his stand's pretty much like a, worse than like a lie detector, pretty much. Or if you say, or if you answer him, yes, no question, you can tell whether or not you're telling the truth or if you're just straight up bullshit. Like, in Day Chick's show, he's like, yes, 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 yes. And he's like, all right, he's going for a high outside fastball. And then it ends up changing to, I don't know, I don't know, I think it goes like a curveball or something. He's like, what? How are you cheating, Jotaro? Tell me how you're cheating. Like, the, like throughout the rest, of this part between Jota between Jotaro and Darby, I was laughing my ass off and see Darby just slowly descend to madness and <laughs> like I have not seen anime that makes me laugh as hard as Jojo. Not even Dragon Ball. I think I've, I've like this like and this came out. This guy this show is not a, a comedy. It's a sane and anime series or a sane and manga series or that started off as Shonen that became. I'm pretty much sure we can call JoJo Sane at this point in Part 3, just for the shit that's gone down in Part 3. I mean, you can definitely qualify Part 1 and Part 2 as definitely Shoujo, as that, Shonen. But Part 3, and probably also Part 4, and I've also heard the same thing about like Part 7 and Part 8, that's just straight up Sane. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, he keys, so he, so he then tells him again, it'll be another, so then JoJo tells him again, it'll be another high outside fastball. And then it ends up changing again, and we just see Darby just sweating like crazy. He starts interrogating Jojo. He has to like, yo, are you cheating? He's like, no, 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 no. Are will you like? He's like, yes, yes. Like he's asking a bunch of yes, no questions. They ask like, you know, just tell me how you're cheating. Then he gets him, and then he gets nothing because, as we know, he can only answer a yes or no question. So. After that, like, then, you know, like I said, like, the rest of the episode, or at least, at least the first half is, like, I gotta say, that's something I love about JoJo, is that it can go from having you dying of laughter, like with Jotaro, but then, like, in the second half, it, we go into straight-up serious territory where, yeah, shit just got real, with, like, we see with, um, uh, Paul and Ref and, uh, and, uh, um, 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 dead, uh, Abdul. I was, I was forgetting his name for a second. So. And so, you know, like I said, we see him, like, you know, he keeps up, like, you know, I'll do another high outside fast, he changes and changes and changes. He's an athlete, though, let me check your workstation to make sure you're not cheating. And he's like, <sighs> and, and, like as we, and I gotta say, and he, like, throws filters his head, like, you know, I know you're cheating, when do I have you take your hat off? And as we know, he said, like, you know, he was getting sweaty and he didn't want to give her his hat. But then it's definitely a problem, like, because, like, I, like, I live here in the desert in Ridgecrest, so yeah, my hats do get those, yeah, a lot, my hats are probably absorbing, like, a lot of sweat. So, yeah, like, I'm on my third hat right now. So, so and like I got to say, Jotaro without his hat has some decent looking hair. And can someone please explain to you why Jotaro's hat is like cut off halfway? Like I always thought, like before I always thought it was like it was like permanently like in, like I don't know like it like abs like it was like like um um uh, uh, like fused with his hair. But then when he's just like, like I don't know like he just ruined it, like it messed up somehow and like a fight or something. Like, I don't know. Grand, I'll probably never get explained on the origins of Jotaro's hat. 
and how and how it got torn up. Anyway, so you know he picks up his hat, puts it back on, and goes right back to it. And <laughs> Oh my god, look, this, this is hilarious. And then eventually, Darby starts sweating so much because he keeps getting, because Joe Turo keeps saying, you know, I'll be doing a high outside fastball. And then he changes it like, to something else later on. But And then he thinks he's telling the truth, but he keeps changing the pitches to the point where he, too, get his soul amidst defeat. Just, now, it doesn't happen exactly, because, like, if you guys remember, when Darby, when we had the phone, when they went in the gambling match with Darby, like, that bluff. Joe Turo pulled on Darby. Oh my god, like if we see this man, like, I, I have never seen a more intense game of poker, and I've seen Kakagururi! And the poker games in that game, in, like in the, in the games that have been Kakagururi were pretty intense, but Joe Turo was like, nah, 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 this is how you do a poker game! Like, <laughs> like it was so intense, and man, when we just see Darby just age and age and age, just because he's so struck with fear because of a bluff from Joe Turo, like, ugh. Oh. Like I said, guys, I love me Jotaro. I love Jotaro. He's my favorite JoJo character. Oh, I love Jotaro. I can hear you. This man, like this, I feel like if you if Jotaro just stared at you, he could kill you. Like that's how much the bad is. Just the mere sight of him can like put the fear of God in you. Oh, I love Jotaro. So you know he ends up getting given rid. He accidentally gives up uh, Kakyoin's soul back to his body. And so after this, Jotaro gets up. And he has to, like, be like, all right. After he's, like, you know, say, like, you know, like, they check up on Cocky Wine, say he's okay. And they ask, like, you know, all right. So will I attack you with my left fist or my right fist? And he says. And he checks, like, you know, your right? And he says, no, 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 no. Your left? No, no, no. Both? Yes, 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 yes! Are you going to do the order, order thing? <laughs> and then our friend Joseph's like, yes, yes, yes. Just, oh, God. And then, of course, we get the classic. <laughs> oh, man, I absolutely fucking love Joe Taro. Like I said, I throughout this whole first half yesterday, I was dying. Because I just loved. Oh, man, I love Joe Taro. I love him. But enough of me gushing about Joe Taro. Let's get to the second part of the episode. Where I gotta say, the voice acting in this episode was really damn good, especially from uh, Polaroid. Because like I said, I'm watching this dubbed on Tsunami, and whew, the voice actor plays Polaroid, who, man, that man is doing some great, is doing like, is like, the man that's voicing him, who, man, I gotta say, whoever voices him, that man deserves really, like, he had some, like, the, he was, like, that was some spellers, ah, ah, stellar voice acting this week. So. So we start, so in this part, we see, like, you know, after the 10 minutes have passed up, and they're like, and, and Abdul says, you know, you know, I know, Mr., I know Joe Tur Joseph told us to, you know, burn this, pl burn to burn it down! down, 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 down. I had that, I had that Seth Rollins after music in there, because, like, you guys know I love WWE. Anyway, to tell, like, you know, burn the, sh to burn the place down. But Abdul decides, you know, no, why don't we go inside? Uh, a poem for grace, and they pretty set some ground rules, pretty much, where uh, Paul Norris says, like, you know, hey, man, if, or, uh, I just want to say Abdul. Abdul says, like, you know, hey, man, if you get separated from me, or you get in danger, I'm not going to save your ass, because, like, there's too much shit, there's too much at stake right now, or, during, like, you know, let's with Joe, with uh, Dio, that we can't risk, like, risk our lives trying to save each other. Which I can understand, which I can understand. So, the same thing for Iggy, and Polar says the exact same thing to Abdul. And so, you know, and then they have, like, a little, kind of, like, a bromo over there, like, you know, like, you know, like, I have a little bromo, he's like, you know, it's like, he says, like, no, what if we make out this love? You owe me one hell, you treat, you have to treat me to one hell of a meal. And he says, I'll treat you both. At all. Like, uh, uh, man, I kind of love you. So they go inside, also, we, before that, we actually see, um, Dio, he meets up with another, uh, member of, like, I guess it's, like, his group. Uh, his name was Ice Cold, I believe it was. I know it's something to do with ice and cold. Uh, which I wouldn't be surprised. That's another music reference because we know that the manga for JoJo, um, Ak, 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 man, his name is always slipping my mind. But we know he is. A, but we know that man loves his music, just like um, one of the creators of of Mega Man. I forget his name. Uh, and whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so you know he asks, him, he tells him that Jo that uh, Dio tells him like yo that the bot that uh. Jo uh, J uh, Jonathan's body still hasn't accepted Dio, but that he needs more blood. He needs like one more blood of a victim for the for this uh, the scar to fully heal and the body to finally become his own. So the dude ends up decapitating himself into this and having the and this having this massive pool of blood just gushing into this just gushing 
into this little um, bowl thing. Which I'm surprised they got away with this because this is pretty bad. Like, they show it to you. They show the decapitation. They show just the blood gushing in there. I mean... It's almost kind of like, I, I don't know how they got away with it, but did JoJo, when, uh, but yeah, when TG, they had to censor a lot of that shit, so maybe there's just different time time slots between TG and whenever jo, JoJo airs, or maybe there's like, because, like, you know, JoJo is a bigger legacy, they let it get away with it or something, I don't really know, but whatever the case may be, it was gory, and it was graphic, and I was like, damn. But then Dio's like, you know, oh, you end up decapitating yourself. Well, I cannot take the blood of such a loyal servant. So he ends up, so he ends up slicing his arm a bit, and like, you know, having the blood, like his blood, go on top of him to revive him. And he tells him, like, you know, hey, take care of Abdul and pull the rough. So he ends up going down there. Uh, Abdul creates this, um, this thing that lets them sense a bit different sand users and stands and everything. Pretty much senses everything, pretty much. And, you know, with that, even the mind to the minute details, like, if you make the slice, like, I feel like if you even blink, he'll catch it. So they find Stan user, they manage to find Stan user, they kill the government, they get, um, they get rid of him quickly. And then, um, while, like, they, like, Abdul and some sense of, like, you know, something is wrong, like, and then we see, and they see something, this, this we see ice cold stab where this dude thing could like eat itself and then like you know it has like and like it's weird it's some weird shit and so you know he ends up taking care of uh, uh, of uh abdul and i guess like, this part was i was really told i was like damn because like i said the voice actor for cockyman uh not cockyman polar give that man a raise and the english of whoo man I mean, i'm sure it was also amazing in the japanese audio but oh my god the dub whew, it is it is damn good it is damn good you know, he saw about, you know, it's like, you know, Paul and the ref, and like, Paul, he keeps calling Abdul's name, he's like, you know, what did you do to Abdul? What did you do to Abdul? It's like, you know, how, you know, you're lying. That's a because like, we know that he could, like, take someone's body and take, and, like, split them, split their atoms within his void in his mouth. I don't really, uh, yeah, it's weird shit. And the end of and the end of the episode with Ab with uh, Polar saying like you know how dare you lie to me you did not you didn't kill Abdul you know how dare you lie to me and that's where the episode ends with of course a classic to be continued I gotta say although I do I love the ED for JoJo uh, Star Crusader Part Two uh, to the second season uh, I love that ED that ED is so good I love it it's, it's so calming and I just love it so overall this episode was fantastic I like you guys to you know. Like you guys know, I love JoJo, and I'm looking. I'm very glad that I'm finally reviewing it for you guys. You know, we got we got this, we got we got Dharma's Unbreakable coming up very soon, and of course after that we of course got Part Five whenever that airs and whenever that dumps. And about it, we know it's coming out. The first episode's gonna be here in anime, uh, at Anime Expo. So any of y'all lucky dolls that are air, that are going to Anime Expo, congratulations! Y'all get to see JoJo and maybe get an, or and get a taste of whatever memes that Part Five will have in store for us. Cause we know JoJo, and we know that girl's great with memes. So yeah, so overall, I like this episode a 10 out of 10. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Leave below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.